All right, check it out. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is this. This is this freaking crazy. This is this. We are getting. We are. We are getting somewhere. This is freaking awesome. Not to mention that we can. You know, we can zoom out. We got a huge, huge environment. Look, look at that. Dun dun dun. Anyways, let's go to the code really quick. I need to get out of here. In Shader Source Fragment number six, where we're using the ring warping feature, we have turned off the animation where we're cycling through all the different bulge enumerations, zero, one, and two for uh, bulging in, no bulging, and bulging out. Or maybe the other way around, but basically we're cycling through the bulge modes. I'm a little bit delirious. We have taken... Uh, these variables right here, and we've extracted them from lower down because we're indented over our ass. So saving the uh, declaration, uh, like these column, right? We uh, The U32 takes up space. We move the declarations up here. We save ourselves some column space, and the column space is precious. We're running out of it. We have refactored this code and put it into a loop. So everything that's green is what's changed, and I'm running out of time. So we loop through all of the different bulge enumerations, and we do all the same code, right? So this is still the same code. We just declared the variables further up. We do all the same code, except for the first time through the loop, we set the base color, either the body color or the edge color. And the next two times through the loop, if a bit is set, we're just going to darken the color. That's all we're doing. And we're getting interesting. We're getting an interesting drop shadow effect doing that. An inner drop shadow. Here's what we did previously. Here's what we did in this video. And we got to get out of here because we're running out of time. So you have been here. If you want a longer explanation, go here. Like, subscribe, and send me coffee.